Hello everyone and welcome back to Psyched. Today we're going to talk about transcranial direct current stimulation or TDCS. You got a hard day at work or you need to prepare for an exam? Wouldn't it be great if you could charge your brain a little to make it work just a little bit better? Put some electricity through it to wake up all those sleeping neurons. Well, in neuroscience, a method called transcranial direct current stimulation or TDCS is used. This method indeed applies small electrical currents to the head with the goal of activating the brain below the area that is stimulated. TDCS has been a valuable method for neuroscience and helps us to understand the brain and its functions. But before you buy or build your own TDCS machine, take a few minutes and watch this video until the end, because you may find that the effect of TDCS are a lot less spectacular than you may have hoped. So how does TDCS work? With TDCS, a direct current is applied between two or more electrodes. Not a lot though, typically between 1 and 3 milliamperes, which typically translates to about 3 to 10 volts, not more than a common battery. When applying an electrical current, negatively charged ions travel from a cathode to an anode. This is why you always need at least two electrodes. Research over the last 20 years has suggested that the cell bodies and axons below the anodal electrode become depolarized, whereas cell bodies and axons below the cathodal electrode become hyperpolarized. So what does that actually mean? Well, when the neuron is doing nothing, there's a small negativity in the axon, which is called the resting membrane potential. Depolarization means that this resting membrane potential becomes a little bit less negative. This makes it easier for a neuron to start an action potential. Hyperpolarization means that the resting membrane potential is made a little bit more negative, meaning that the neuron has a harder time to get an action potential started. So in contrast to other methods like transcranial magnetic stimulation, TDCS by itself does not induce any action potentials. It just makes it a little bit easier or a little bit harder for a neuron to do their actual job. But if we have both an anode and a cathode, how do we make sure that we get the right effects? For this, it is really important that you place the electrodes at the right location. Let's say your goal is to make the prefrontal cortex a little bit more active. Then you should put the anodal electrode over the prefrontal cortex and the cathodal electrode should be somewhere where it doesn't really interfere with your effect. Put it on a spot that is not so important for the function you're measuring. You could for example put it on the other side of the head or just put it on the cheek or the shoulder. So how well does TDCS work? Well, it works, sometimes, somewhat. The reality is that our brains are quite variable. Remember the image that I showed before about how the anode depolarizes and the cathode hyperpolarizes? Well, this is only true if the neurons line up in a certain direction. And although that is true for some brain areas, it's not true for all. Also, there is a large variability between the brains of different people. So TDCS may work on one person quite well and does absolutely nothing for another. There is even a quite large variability from day to day and the effects of TDCS on the brain depend strongly on different things such as the time of the day, whether you slept well, whether you had caffeine, whether you're active and much more. Now I also don't want to make it worse than it is because from a research perspective it is very interesting to look at all those different factors. Therefore the varying effects of TDCS can explain why people differ which gives us a better understanding of the brain. This in turn helps us to make tailor-made TDCS protocols for different individuals to make it effective for a larger group of people. By individualizing TDCS it can be used to treat certain disorders such as depression or help the recovery of diseases like stroke. However, research on this is still in its infancy and we need to learn a lot more. But to use TDCS to supercharge your brain, well, currently it's probably not ready yet. So commercial manufacturers that tell you that TDCS will improve intelligence, creativity, focus and more, that is probably a little bit of an exaggeration. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the explanation about TDCS 
and I hope to see you the next time. Bye bye.